Hello, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. And today I have a very exciting video. As you can see by the title, I am going to do a first impressions on the Certify Affinity 2 palette. This is what it looks like. I already took the plastic out of the inside. It says dream without fear, love without limits, Certify the Affinity 2 palette. And as soon as I saw this, Mm -hmm. on their Instagram. I knew that I wanted it. I was like, take my money, but it was just a mock-up. And they said, what do you guys think about this? And we were all like, yes, 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 yes. And then it came to fruition. They posted an actual photo of the palette they had made, but then they said it was pre-order. So it was a while. I've been waiting for this a while and I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys remember, but I did a certified mystery box unboxing. I'll link it up here. Um, and I got a bunch of items like eyeshadow brushes or brushes in general, face brushes as well, um, sponges. I also got glitters. So we're going to be using and also a um, cream contour and highlighter duo little palette thingy um, right here. And I got some lashes. So we're going to be using some of the items from my mystery box um, unboxing and see how that goes. The highlighter might actually be too dark for my skin, but we'll see. And um, yeah, so I'm excited to use those products as well. And I'm trying to think if I want to put a headband in my hair. Yeah, just to get it kind of a little bit out of the way. Okay. And so um, so we're going to do a first impressions with this. And then I will be doing a three looks or a two looks, one palette with this probably early next week. So um yeah so i just want to play around with it today and i'm also going to be using some of the items from my ofra mystery box which i will also link my ofra mystery box unboxing up here um i got an ofra mystery box the big one and in that video i was telling you guys that um i was you know excited because it came with a moisturizer sample which is their peptide complex series moisturizer and this smells like key lime pie and i was telling you guys that i was really excited about it because i had been using the wanderlush um moisturizer from ofra and it is amazing it has no scent though so i know that that's probably going to be more suitable for more people who don't like smells in their skincare or makeup but i like smells in my skincare and makeup so I'm excited that it smells like key lime pie, but I totally understand the fragrance-free benefit. Um, but anyhow, so they stopped making the Wanderlush um, thing because they got into it with Kim Tai, blah, blah, blah. She said, you can't sell it anymore. I've already dropped a makeup brush. I'll be right back. Okay, and I've got it. So we have three eye brushes to use. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to pull in probably a flat shader brush, but these brushes are really, really cute and they're on certify.com. My fingers are still purple from my hair, but what can you do? So, um, so yeah, so I like the way the moisturizer feels so far on my skin. Like it feels very smooth and, but not like greasy or anything. And so I'm gonna see how the foundation lays on top of it. If it lays nicely, I'm gonna be honest, I'm just gonna buy it because I'm almost out of my Wanderlush. So, um, again, I use my MAC paint stick because that's what I use for most of my colorful looks or actually just most all of my looks. It is an emollient white eyeshadow base that I love because it's not like too emollient, but it's not dry and it just, I like use, leaving it tacky and I like creating colorful looks with it. So you can actually, okay, yes, you can bend this all the way back. So this has shimmers, it has mattes, it has duochromes like this shade on the bottom. Right here is a duochrome. I'm not going to swatch a lot of them. Oh gosh, that looks exactly like it did in the photo where it was like, it went from like blue to purple to green to pink. Stunning. And then it has another duochrome. I don't even know. That's why I know that I'm going to do a three looks or a two looks one palette because I don't even know what look I'm going to do today because I'm so excited but I'm not going to swatch all of them but this shade reminds me right here of Glass Bull which is a ColourPop shade that I've been wanting to get so now I feel like I don't need it also it reminds me of blue green or no green brown pigment from MAC but anyhow these are just absolutely okay one more swatch this silvery 
It's like a silver, but it kind of has like a bluish purpley undertone. I just don't really believe in swatches because I think that something can swatch amazing and look like total crap on your eyes, or it can swatch crap and look amazing on your eyes. So I just don't normally do swatches, but okay. So let's get into this so that this video isn't too, too long. Um, and I do want to do my face because if I have enough time, because I want to try the shape tape or I'm at least going to do, I might do my foundation off camera, but I'm going to do at least my, um, concealer, my powder, because I want to try the Jeffree Star powder with the shape tape concealer and this new moisturizer. Okay. So I have no idea what I want to do, but I'm going to go into the shade Schmale first which is the shade right here. I think, yeah, I think that's what I want to do. And I'm going to use this little blending brush from Certify. So I want to put that, I'm going to put that in the in, inner part of my crease. I was so excited when I got this because I went to check and see if there was any mail and there was nothing. And then I went back to my mailbox and it had come. Like I went to Starbucks and I came back. This is really, really pigmented. This does not surprise me. Um, for those of you who do not know the sister, the person who owns Certify is the sister of the owner of Salma of Blush Tribe. So. They each started a company and they support each other. And I've heard nothing but good things about um, Certify. So I'm really excited to finally try them. I wish that the mystery box Certify had put out, had included an eyeshadow palette. I definitely think price-wise it could have because all of the stuff they put in it, they could have just left some of it out and put an eyeshadow palette in, but they didn't, so. Okay, and then I'm going to go into, some of these shades are very, okay, so because of the silver, it is very difficult to read the shade names, and they are on the back, however, they are written that tiny right there, and they are not by row, so are those even the shade names? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, so I believe this shade is... I got nothing, guys. Hold on. Munir? Munir. Okay, I had to look for an MU. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of Munir and I'm going to mix it in with Nawato just to lighten it up. So these two right here. And yeah, I do. That's the one complaint I would say I have is that the shade names are very difficult with the silver to read in my opinion and I don't have I don't wear glasses I don't wear contacts so I have pretty good eyesight but or at least I like to think I do but that was hard even for me so but you know what I don't care what they're called the shadows are beautiful I mean, I do care what they're called. I, I actually really like shade names of things. Like, that's why I love OPI Nail Color, because I love the fact that they have cute, playful names. So, and I also like it when things have meaningful names. Okay, what is that? Oh, it's that one eyebrow hair. Got rid of it. I have this one crazy eyebrow hair that grows in. I don't know where it comes from, but all of a sudden it's back. I feel like I should name it. I had so much fun earlier today. I have to tell you guys this. So I have a friend and subscriber. Um, she is one of my subscribers and then we became friends. And um, she goes by Lady S. She has a channel and she does like gaming. She does like uh, live streams of Sims. And she does such a good job with it. And I love watching her because you guys know I love watching video games. And I'm just gonna tell you, like today she did her subscriber special, which is where she like does something special for her subscribers that come into the live stream. 
I think I'm gonna go into shade Farid, which is this gorgeous like blue purple, blurple. Um, but I wanna mix it with a keeb, which is the bright blue underneath it. So I'm gonna go into the two together. Um, but anyhow, so she did this live stream and anybody today who came into her live stream, she did a Sims character modeled after them. And I was the second person in the live stream. So I was the second person to get a Sims made of myself. And it was so cool. She did such a good job. I even had purple hair. And it was so funny because we were talking about, you know, she got the face down pat because she's seen me um, on camera a million times and on Instagram and stuff like that. But, you know, you guys only see me from like here up. So she was like, you know, so like when we got to the the body portion because you get to choose you know your body type and all that stuff and I was like well I'm thick and I have a big butt <laughs> and we just started laughing like everyone in the live stream was laughing it was hilarious these mats are gorgeous like they are absolutely stunning they're so easy to blend and they're just pigmented right off the bat and I'm just patting them on and then blending a little bit but they are so freaking pigmented. I had made a few exceptions to my no buy, um, and this was one of them because I knew that I was gonna have to order it after I started my no buy. So, and I knew that I did not want to miss out on it. I mean, they still have a lot of their palettes, you know, available that it came out a while back. So, I don't. I'm sure that this will be like a permanent addition or at least permanent for a while. Um, and Blush Tribe is having a sale today. I think it's the code is 30 off for 30% off. <laughs> so, and their Malika palette is not going to restock once it goes out. It's like the only palette I don't own from them. And I'm a completionist. If you guys have seen people doing that YouTuber tag or makeup collection tag, which I am planning on doing eventually, but yeah, I am a completionist when it comes to certain brands. Okay, so now that we have the mats down, I'm going to grab my glitter glue as I always do. This is the NYX glitter glue right here. I'm just going to take some of my fingers and warm it up and put a little bit on each eyelid. I know it looks crazy at the moment and I'm not going to do a official cut crease. Like I'm going to see how these shadows perform when you don't do like an official cut crease with, you know, actually cutting out the crease. So I'm just going to see how well it layers. And I think I'm going to start with Aftab, which is this beautiful blue right here. And then we're going to go into Bilal, which is this beautiful mint green here. So I'm going to pick this up on a Morphe brush since that set does not have a flat shader brush, which is a shame. I still have glitter from my last makeup look. I may or may not use glitter for this look because I may save that for one of my, you know, three looks or two looks, one palette, just because I kind of just want to do a look with only the palette today. Now that I've got it on my eyes, that's so pretty. Again, does not surprise me because you guys know Blush Tribe is one of my favorite brands. I actually am expecting the Neon Dreams pigment uh, palette. Um, Selma sent it to me. Um, it actually shipped the same day as this one, so I don't know if it's going to come later today or who knows. But when I get that, well, before I get that, I'm actually, okay, let me start over. I'm going to be doing a Blush Tribe week on my channel. So I have, once I have that palette, I think I will own seven Blush Tribe palettes. Well, seven six splash tribe palettes and the jungle bundle which is their like pigment loose pigments so i want to do a look with that 
and that'll kind of count as like a palette and I'm gonna do it but I, in any in any case I'm gonna do a blush tribe week on my channel and as soon as I get the neon dreams pigment palette I will do a look with it like a first impressions but then I'll do a second look with it when it comes time because I'll just do the looks in the order that I got the palettes I think because I own the um like I said a lot of them okay so that is beautiful I am gonna use actually let's do really quick I'm just gonna place the duochrome uh chef uh, which is the like that white duochrome that I showed you at the beginning I'm gonna put that on my brow bone and that one is a bit crumbly but I didn't spray it I didn't put anything down and I did kind of dig hard into it but I am also gonna put that in my inner corner so it's okay just want to make sure I paint this I have that that I can put in my inner corner and then I also have the Ofra glittery duochrome loose pigment thing that I got in my mystery box. So let me wipe away this fallout and then we'll do the face real quick and then we'll do the lower lash line and then we'll be done. I really, spoiler alert, I like this palette a lot so far, but I definitely want to play around with it some more. I think my favorite brands right now eyeshadow formula wise are Menagerie Cosmetics, Juvia's Place, not in any particular order. Well, Juvia's Place and Blush Tribe would be number one. And then Menagerie Cosmetics. And then, because Juvia's Place and um, Blush Tribe are kind of in competition. No, they're, they're, they're tied because I, I love both of them equally. I think they're both amazing. So, I have uneven eyes. I think everybody does, but I know this mine more. Okay, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Foundation Stick. It is a very easy foundation to use. Okay, see this? Is it just me, guys, or am I looking, like, am I, have I gotten more pale? I just feel like every foundation lately that I've put on has been a little bit too dark. I don't know what the deal is. I like this sponge. This is my kind of sponge. I don't, I don't like the beauty blender. I will never buy a beauty blender. I don't like them as a company. I don't like their sponge. I had their sponge for one day. I was going to return it. My dog ate it. <laughs> Well, not ate it, but chew it, chewed it to pieces. So it was a $20 dog chew toy that I then couldn't even return. And yeah, like never again. Hold on, I gotta get in focus here. Hello, focus. Give me one second. I literally feel like I cannot get this to focus. There we go. Okay. So, um, but I don't like that they, I don't like it when brands tear down other brands to build themselves up. And they went after real techniques. Are they the original creators of this particular shape of, you know, a sponge? Yes, I guess so. But they cut a sponge into a certain shape. Like, I don't know. I just, uh, I know that they have specific, like, patents on their type of, you know, feel and materials. And they have it so that nobody else can use certain materials or whatever in there so that can't be exactly like it but I just I don't know I don't like it when companies any company for any kind of thing I don't like it when they shade other people in order to build themselves up so I think if you have a good product you don't have to do that and not saying they don't have a good product, but I personally just think it's too soft for me. I, I just didn't like it. And it soaked up a lot more product for me 
than any other sponge I've used. So I didn't like the sponge itself and then I didn't like what the brand had, you know, did. And then I don't like that they <laughs> came out with a ridiculous shade range of their foundation when they clearly had the means, the money, and the ability to create as many foundation shades as they wanted to since they charged $20 for a sponge. They definitely had the ability to make a... And then they tried to blame the person who came up with the concept saying that she has medium skin tone and that she wanted to make most of the foundations for her skin tone. So they did very few like really really fair and then they did like nothing when it came to deeper skin tones or they did like orange and I'm talking like my husband's cologne box orange like carrot orange I was like okay so I don't know all right enough ranting normally I never Normally I never talk badly really about brands on my channel, but it really got to me. So I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star powder, if I can get it open, the white one, on my under eyes. Dog hair on my lip that is bothering me. And then I'm gonna use the fair one all over the rest of my face. And we're gonna see how the I don't like the way the sponge picks up powder. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I actually technically usually use one sponge for my foundation and one for my powder, but today I'm doing both with the same one. I was talking to my friend Lady S who has the live stream that I was in earlier today and we were talking about this powder and she said that Shape Tape was her favorite concealer and I was like, oh, that's funny because I was actually thinking about <clears throat> doing a review, or not a review, but like testing out how this powder works with the Shape Tape and she was like, oh, I love that. And I am gonna link her channel because you guys should really check her out. She has an amazing personality. She's so much fun to watch. I think watching gaming channels is fun anyway, but she is just so much fun. She has the best laugh and she's just so sweet. And she really loves to engage with her subscribers. <coughs> okay, I got that dog hair in my throat. The one that was on my lip that I couldn't get. And by the way, I wanted to say I have not been great at commenting back lately. Things, as you know, have been crazy. I've still been helping my mom take care of my dad. And that's, I don't want to make excuses because I, I want to be really good about always talking to you guys in the comment section. So I will be getting much, much better at that again. Because I used to respond back to every single comment. And I want to, up until when my dad was in his accident. And then it kind of got away from me. But I promise you guys that I will get better at that. Just give me a little bit of time. Because I really, that's what I enjoy the most about my channel, is talking to you guys and, you know, having a relationship with you guys and all that stuff. Okay. And now I have powder all over me. The powder is definitely messy. But I'm telling you, I'm not joking. Like, yes, this powder has a few times gotten a little bit cakey on me. As I said, when I didn't moisturize properly which we're gonna see how it works today and I'm gonna update you guys in the next video because we're, we're testing things. But um, this palette, I mean this powder, like it will not budge. And I'm not kidding because I fell asleep with my makeup on, I woke up the next morning before my husband and he literally thought I had gotten up at like five in the morning and done my makeup because he literally was like oh did you film a video while I was sleeping and I was like no this is my makeup from yesterday I accidentally fell asleep with it on and he was like but it looks perfect and 
it's not just that it keeps your makeup in place like when you if you were able to reach through the screen and touch my face it does not even feel or look like I have makeup on my face well okay you can clearly tell I have makeup on my face but like it doesn't look like a thick layer of makeup it doesn't look like I have foundation and concealer and powder and all that stuff like up close like it it just doesn't this is the Kylie setting spray which so far I like it I it reminds me of the Morphe setting spray but in a sprayer bottle instead of a um thing so I forgot to cream contour I just realized that. Let me grab a bronzer and I'll be right back. Okay, so I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I used the Ofra blush in Blush Bellini, which is the one I got in my mystery box. It's like a peachy pink shade. And I used my mm, Wet n Wild bronzer since I forgot to do the um, In Sunset strip tease, <laughs> which I forgot as I said, to use the contour. And then I was just going in with my Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter that I also got in my mystery box unboxing and I'm using this little fan brush. I've maybe only used a fan brush to um, highlight once in my life. I have no idea if I'm doing it right, but it seems to be working and I really like it. And I actually really like, the other fan brush I have is much um, bigger. And I really like this smaller one. I feel like it does a really good job. Um, yeah, I think it does a really good job. So I like the brushes. I like the, I like everything so far that I've used. So <clears throat> I'm gonna grab that angled brush and we're gonna do the lower lash line. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Freak from Urban Decay, um, which is a, like minty lime green. I'm just gonna put that in my waterline and on my lower lash line. You might not be able to see it, but I like to use it because it really picks up the pigment of whatever eyeshadow you put on top of it. And that's the main, main reason that I use it. So yeah, I definitely go check out my friend. And I have a video coming up of some cards and gifts that I've gotten in the mail recently. Um, I just got another one today from Leanne and it's absolutely gorgeous and it made me cry. Um, I cry every time, <laughs> so, okay. Um, I think I'm going to use the shade hmm, Musolo. I don't Moose. Hold on. I want to get this right. Um, Munir, sorry, which is that blue and I'm going to use it on the outer corner. And it really is not that I'm having trouble pronouncing the names. It's literally that you can barely see them on that silver glitter, um, backing of the packaging. So I'm going to do that on the outer, which this was one of the shades I went into my crease with. And then I'm trying to think if I want to do liner, like wing liner, because no, I'm great at that. I'm going to use this shade Shiraz which is this beautiful, like, Kermit, like, bright green. Love it. These mattes are amazing. I don't know if all of the certified palettes are like this, but I want more if they are. Okay, glitter glue for the inner corner. I don't always do that, but I feel like since this is a loose glittery pigment, I have powder everywhere. I really want it to stick. 
So it is called Derma Mineral Loose Powder in White Diamonds. And it literally looks, now it's on my pants. It looks like white diamonds. <laughs> um, okay, let's just pick some up. And again, this is from Ofra. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is amazing. It has pink, blue, and green glitter in it. I don't know if you can, probably won't be able to see the individual colors, but it is stunning. I love this. And a little bit goes a long way. So I can see this lasting a really long time. I didn't even know Ofra sold these, so... I'll have to see if they have them in other shades. I really like working with loose pigments and stuff like that. In fact, for about two years, all I used was MAC loose pigments in terms of eyeshadow. I didn't even own any eyeshadow palettes. So let me do, mm -hmm, actually, all right, what did I do with that liner? Give me one second, I'm so sorry. Okay, normally I would do my liner off camera, but this is the certified liner that they sent me. I have tried, this is the tip, I love it. Um, what kind of tip is this? Is this a brush tip? Is this a felt tip? I can't tell um, because I don't know those things, but um, I love it. It's amazing. Like I just knew it was gonna be amazing when I swatched it and I looked online on their website and I cannot find it and it makes me sad because I can already tell you that this is probably going to be one of the best liquid liners I've ever used because it just seems like it's so easy. Yep, it is. It doesn't skip. I'm just going to do a wing that kind of goes with my eyeshadow probably won't be able to see it very well because I'm literally doing it along the line of my eyeshadow. You can kind of tell. I'm not a wing liner expert, but I'm trying to get better at it. But you don't get better if you don't actually use it. So... Okay. I like that as well. It was a little bit difficult going over top of the matte um, eyeshadow, just a little bit, but it was a little bit easier when I swatched it on my hand, but it was still pretty smooth. So I'm gonna do mascara, and that is the Marc Jacobs one, and then the Bad Gal Bang. It's sort of been just the combo I've been using lately. And I know this is another longer video, but when I test out new products, do first impressions, and end up doing my whole face, that's just kind of what happens. And I like talking to you guys, so feel free to skip ahead or, I don't know, fast forward or listen. Keep me company. But in my three looks, one palette, I will not be doing my face for each look or for any of them really. So I don't know where that fallout just came from or maybe I just now noticed it, but I have some fallout under this eye, like right there, just a little bit of green. Oh, but it just went right away. So that's good news. And for my lips, I'm going to go in with one of the Ofra liquid lipsticks that I got from, I don't know if Jeffrey thinks his name is Ofra, but every time I've said Ofra, he like looks at me or comes over here. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to do lips while my mascara dries because something that I've learned is that if I do it too soon, I get mascara under my lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with the shade Charmed. I think it'll be pretty. It's like a like a pinky rosy nude. I believe this was with the Manny MUA collection that he did with Ofra. I am considering getting one of Manny's highlighters, the new ones. 
Well, let me know down below if that's something you'd like me to review. The moon powders or whatever they're called. I need another highlighter like I need a hole in my head, but I haven't bought anything from Lunar Beauty since the Life's a Drag palette, which I love. I think that looks really pretty with it. So one more spray of setting spray and I will let you guys go. All right, so I'm not gonna blow this off. I'm just gonna show this to you guys one more time. This is about how much fallout or what is it called? You know, I don't, why am I having trouble remembering? Like kick up, there we go. That's about how much kick up I got. Not a lot at all. Um, some of the kick up actually happened in shipping and I just didn't wipe it off. But yeah, um, this shade I kind of dug into hard, which was why it was crumbly because I really dipped into it. But this palette is absolutely stunning. Do I have shades in my collection that look like this? Yeah, because you guys know, I mean, I've probably done a look similar to this on my channel at some point. Um, but I love these shadows. I think that Certify and Blush Tribe are amazing brands. I love both of the sisters. They're so sweet. And I have talked to Salma um, personally, but which is the owner of Blush Tribe. But like, they just seem like such a sweet family. And I really love supporting indie brands. And I'm so glad that I finally have my first um, Certified palette. And I don't think I could have chosen a more perfect one for me. So... Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Um, and there are also, I believe this was like $25 or something like that, $28. Um, and there is a code like Paulina Beauty 10 is a code that gets you 10% off. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there are 18 shades. So, I mean, I think it's a pretty good price and I think the quality is amazing so i'm really happy i have it and i can't wait to do more looks with it so let me know what you guys think down below i love you guys so so much and thank you for watching and putting up with me for way too long <laughs> i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye guys